Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Talking Beer here at Gambrinus. Tonight we have uh, myself, John. Rego is here once again, rocking it out. And we have a special guest coming in for his first time doing some Talking Beer. It's Andrew. Andrew, uh, you probably recognize, uh, works for us on and off. He's now managing down at the Bistro, so he's teaching the good people down there about beer every, uh, every night and spreading the love. Um, Tonight, we've got a fantastic beverage that we're gonna do. Uh, this is Magic Rock Brewing's uh, Curious. It's actually now named Ringmaster. They just changed the name on it not too long ago, but we have the cake. It's called Curious. Same beer. It's uh, an American-style pale ale. It is 3.9% uh, alcohol volume, so it's a nice session beer. Um, I'm sure we could all drink several of them and be real happy about it. It's been really popular. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've sold it really well. We're really happy that we we're able to get this, and I know we're going to have some more of the Magic Rock beers coming in soon. Hopefully, um, they're releasing more here in the United States. Uh, a little information about Magic Rock: they're out of Hudder Huddersfield, uh, UK. It's in West Yorkshire, uh, England. Um, I have not been there, uh, but you can check out more on their uh, on their website, Magic Rock Brewing uh, Brewery dot com. Um, what else do we need to know about this beer? Um, the brewery itself was actually listed as one of the best new breweries uh, of the year last year. So that's why we're really excited that we were able to get some because we like getting uh, the newest and best and different. And um, this is one that the only place you're going to find it is here at Gambrinus and, uh, and, and Owensboro. I don't know of anybody else in the tri-state area that has it besides us. Uh, I don't know if anybody in Bowling Green has it. I know there's been some in Louisville and Lexington. But we're the only one over in this half of the state, so we're really excited. Um, we'll kind of get to it. I got through all the all the BS. Now it's time to do the fun parts, right? Yes. Uh, first thing we always do is we uh, agitate her a little bit, see how that uh, how that foamy head looks. Uh, I'll let you guys take over. Breaker or Andrew, if you guys want to take over, you can tell us what you think about the foam and the head. It's very tight. Very, very fine bubbles to it. Yeah. I might have to turn down. Um, yeah, you can see, um, you should be able to see the color pretty well on that one. It's a beautiful, beautiful golden, little hazy hue there. Um, great, you know, great lacing on a, on a, on an APA. Uh, it's, you know, it's everything you want out of a nice pale ale color-wise and, and head retention-wise. Great carbonation to it. Um, you know, it looks absolutely fresh. Smells. Some readiness to it as well. I'm trying to figure out which fruit I smell the most. Um, I definitely get some, you know, a little bit of grassiness to it as well. Um, it's just, I mean, this beer has everything so far that I like about uh, light hoppy beers. It's got a great aroma to it. It looks great. So I can only imagine that taste is going to be fantastic as well. I'll let you guys take over on sipping. Oh man, what a full flavor for, for, you know, a low alcohol beer. You can tell they really, really put the goods into it, by keep, but at the same time keeping the alcohol low. It's got some great citrusy to it. Um, you know, the, the, the florals, you get flowers in there. Um, hop profile is, Existent, but it's not like overwhelming. It's, I mean, it's just flavor, not yeah. not cleanse your mouth right. with the bitterness, and it lingers a bitterness, but it's so light in touch. Yeah, right, it, it. it's a gentle picture of hops yes. in the overall approach. Once you finish your sip, the great thing with this is you can pause for a bit and then come back to it, and it's it's not like it's attacking; it's a gentle hoppiness to it. And um, um, mouthfeel on it, it's really, it's really nice, light. It's, I mean, it's almost lagerish style. I mean, it's so light that it's almost lagerish, but it's polar opposite flavor-wise. Just, I mean, booming with flavor, you know. And the thing is, that's that's the great thing about beer like this is you get, you know, you get all the great flavor, you get all the stuff, low alcohol, so you can drink. A few of them, and you know you're okay. It's not like you're putting a nine percent imperial IPA into your mouth. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have a beer, and that's all I'm having tonight. You know, this is a, uh, I guess we said earlier, a session beer where you can come in, and you can have a few of them, and 
you know, should be good to go. Drink over the course on this is a. I hope that we can get something like this available during the summertime because this would be a great. As Andrew said, this was he told me the other day. This is his lawn mowing beer here. Yeah, yeah. Usually for lawn mowing, I drink West Six IPA, but that is <laughs> definitely a, a problem. Heavy. That's, yeah. that's that's you a have heavy. to mow half an acre. You're gonna yeah, have yeah. You don't want yeah. You don't want to drink West Six. But uh, this is a. It's a great beer. Uh, it's Match Brought Curious, or now called Ringmaster. Um, hopefully we'll get some more of it in soon. This keg is getting pretty close, but uh, try to get it in soon and give it a shot. We, uh, we hope you like it. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.